The new Flux models on Workers AI are our most powerful text to image AI models yet. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your own Workers AI image playground in just a few minutes. So you may have seen there are a ton of really awesome, legit businesses being built on top of these AI image generation models. And using Workers AI, you can get access to the best models in the industry without having to worry about inference, ops, deployment, all that kind of stuff. We just give you an API, you can call it, and in a couple seconds, get an image back. It really is that straightforward. And in this example, I'm going to show you how you can build a really easy to use UI in just a couple of minutes that allows you to use the Flux Schnell model to generate awesome images. I mean, we're talking really, really cool stuff. I'll show you an example here. Uh, this is one that I generated a couple minutes ago that is science fiction art of a sand dune, 70s style. It has that awesome, you know, you go to the used bookstore in the fantasy section. Maybe it's just me that does that. And you find these like awesome old books with these cool artwork covers like this. Um, so you can generate all sorts of cool stuff with this. And the code to do it is not actually that complicated. So let's go and take a look at how it actually works. So we're just inside my application. It's a Next.js application running on Cloudflare Pages. And it's using Shad CN UI, uh, but you could swap it with whatever UI you would like. And it just uses Tailwind under the hood, basically. And all I have here is a selected model, which is this Schnell model. I have a prompt here, which is the actual string, uh, you know, sci-fi art, 70s style. And the only really complicated part here is setting up this handle submit function. So I'm going to send a fetch request to this generate image API endpoint. And it's going to be a post sending this JSON of the model, which is that selected model, the Schnell model, as well as the prompt that we've written. And that's basically all the code that uh, you know you need to write here. The rest of this is sort of set up, right? So a form that actually handles the input. And then on this other side here, which kind of gets rendered in this like two column layout, uh, we have the source of the image once it's rendered. So our generated image shows up and you can actually download the image here too, which is great. So you can click this, you get that image generated and downloaded right to your computer. So you can take these and do whatever you want with them. Now, the actual source here for the meaty part, right? Generating the AI image. How does it work? Well, we set up this post endpoint here at uh, API slash generate image slash route. And it just exports this post function, which says this route uh, API slash generate image is going to handle a post request. And inside of that, we get this request context and called dot env dot AI. This is a Cloudflare specific thing that we have set up with this Cloudflare next on pages. Uh, package, though there is kind of a version of this for most frameworks, so Remix, Astro, whatever you're using, um, to get the request context and specifically get the env out of there, uh, which gets this AI binding. Now, in my Wrangler Toml, this is the only setup that I need to do to get access to Workers AI. It really is this simple. AI binding equals AI. You might have to turn it on in the dashboard and say like, you know, yes, I want to use Workers AI. But in terms of actual code to sort of integrate the two of them, this is it. This is all you need to do. Now, once we have that set up, we're going to uh, get the prompt and the model from the JSON body. This is a post request, right? So we're posting JSON to this endpoint and we're getting the prompt and the model. And then we're setting it up here for actually calling Workers AI. Now to do that, it is literally one line of code. So not a joke, not an exaggeration. It's not like, oh, it's kind of just a few lines of code. It is literally one line of code, which is awesome. So AI.run, we pass in the model here, which is the Schnell model, and we pass in our inputs, which is this object that just contains the prompt. And what we get back is a AI generated image. Now we get this as a response.image, which is a big blob of base 64 text that is the encoded version of our image. And to return that to the client, all we have to do is sort of prefix it with this uh, data image slash PNG base 64, basically telling the browser this thing you're about to receive is a PNG image and we've encoded it in base 64. And then the header here is uh, content type image slash PNG. That's the whole function. That's all you need to do to get an awesome uh, two, three second image generation using the Schnell model inside of Workers AI. So I would love to see what you build with this. The code for this is open source on GitHub. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's uh, Christian Freeman slash Workers AI Image Playground. 
Now in the repo, I've added a ton of extra features. There's other models you can use. There's other parameters that you can pass to these models to sort of change how it generates the image and do all sorts of cool stuff with it. And in the next video in this series, we're going to take a look at how to implement some of those. So there are other models you can use. There's other parameters that you can pass, things like negative prompt, number of steps in generating the AI image. And we're going to look at how to implement all of that in the next video. So if you haven't subscribed to the Cloudflare Developers channel, make sure you do so. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.